Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Curvy Brie and I am back with a new video. If you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you are new, welcome. If you are continuing viewer slash subscriber, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you're doing. Honey, we talk about everything here, everything. Even look at the title of the video, we talk about everything, okay? And this video is going to be straight to the point, so let's get into it, okay? I know the holidays are right around the corner, honey. Black Friday is literally in two days, and Cyber Monday, and Small Business Saturday, okay? We got all of this stuff that's coming up, and plus holiday shopping before Christmas. So I wanted to, you know, why not come up with a Christmas budget plan? Because I know over the years, I've spent so so much money and i know that this is the time that a lot of people especially once it hits january they definitely be in a lot of debt so i'm i want to like let's work together and let's try to not do that and overspend especially when we're trying to save for things and you guys know i'm trying to save for my bbl so if you're saving for your plastic surgery or you're just saving in general this will help you you know stick to your target and also actually help you still have a wonderful holiday season okay because if you don't celebrate christmas there's a lot of other holidays if you don't celebrate any holidays at all then perfect fine by you but let's get into it okay first things first you will definitely as you can see i have my laptop you want to develop a plan okay i'm going to show you guys my plan i wrote out all my expenses i wrote out how much i make a month and I actually wrote out each and every week how much I'm going to put in my savings account on average and how much I'm going to spend on average towards Christmas gifts. So that way by the end of the month, you know, I am not in debt. I still was able to save for my procedure and I was also able to have a nice, wonderful Christmas for my son. You know, it's no gifts under the tree yet because I haven't even started, you know, because I had the six months away. If you want to do this the inexpensive way, which would be, you know, just getting out a simple piece of paper and, you know, writing it out. I know for me, I write as I think, so I need to do my own the computer because my mind will wander. I will start thinking of other bills. I'm erasing. I'm crossing out. It just got bad that my friend told me to actually, you know what, go and do an Excel sheet. So that's what I did. I do Excel sheets at work, so why not do one at home? And also, if you don't have Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Office, Google Docs is a beautiful thing. Use it, okay? Because that's what I'm using right now. This is my December budget plan. And as you can see, I have the weeks listed right here to show me which week is for which bill. You know, so which week I'm going to pay whichever bill is listed here. Because I already know when certain things like my car insurance is due. I know when my PSE and G is due. I know when my phone bill is due or my cable bill. I know when all of this stuff is due. So I have my plan customized to which week I know I'm going to pay which bill. Okay, so then I did that. And I wrote out the amounts for each bill, you know, right here in my expenses category. So, let me see. Let me take this one. So, if you come over here to my expenses category, you will see that I have everything listed and the total for how much all my expenses will be. And I have everything on average kind of listed. I still didn't add in my gym or my food or the gas, or um, the Apple, or uh, ABC Mouse. I'm going to add that in later because I don't know when exactly my gym bill is taken. I have to go through my bank statements to actually see what date this is taken now. Food actually varies with me because it is a holiday season. So, you know, with my dad cooking, I won't have to buy so much food. So, I only average that out for like $100. And gas will vary depending on how much I drive. So that's why that's not included. And I have to look at my bank statement to see when my Amazon Prime comes out. Also, my ABC mouse for my son, I need to know when that comes out in Apple Music. Because I just downgraded that from $10 to $5 because I'm a student. 
So as you can see, I just listed all of my expenses here and then I calculated the total expenses here, you know, to see each week how much I'm going to be spending. And then I did a total at the end. So you see it's a little bit off because I don't have the other bills listed, which is fine. You know, you can still average out your bills if you know when they're, when they're due. But I did for my total savings on average because I didn't want to put my income up here of how much I make. This is my total savings that I want to save each week as an estimate. You know, to give myself an idea, my viewers an idea of how much I expect to save each and every week. Um, on average, if I don't hit that amount of savings, I just want to get close enough to it. And each week I have set for the 28th because of how this season is over. I have how much I'm going to spend on Christmas gifts. Now, I see that this is a small number, but I think $200 is a lot if you think about it. To get enough people done with $200 catching a nice sale, you could definitely get some great gifts. So don't sleep on a little $600 that I'm about to spend on gifts. I can make it work. Okay, but... You know, just write down how much you plan on spending a week because that right there will keep you in check to not overspend. And what I like to do is, if you can, bring cash, okay? I know they got a coin shortage, but, you know, try to bring some cash and some coins because that right there would, would help you stick to your budget, okay? In case you got to overspend, then... If you want, you can, but try to stick to your budget so you're not overspending. You're still able to save, okay? So here is my December budget slash savings plan when it comes to this holiday season. And, you know, I hope you guys take these same tr tricks and the same setup and try to get yourself a budget going on so that way you can save and still have a great holiday season. So, as you guys can see, it is not that hard to make yourself a budget plan for December, okay? And I'm also going to actually start working on my New Year's budget plan to, you know, keep me in check throughout the year. So, expect that video to be coming soon. I hope you guys take these tips and the way that I set up my budget plan and go make yourself one today, okay? We got a couple of more weeks before December 1st. We got a couple of more a couple more days i must say until december 1st excuse me matter of fact a couple more weeks so january 1st who god give us a great year 2021 um and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed my video and i hope to see you guys soon in the next one bye